Scotland twice, what are we going to do today? So if you are just now thinking about who you're going to vote for, or you haven't made your mind up yet, here are a few thoughts of what's been going on. And the main reason that we're having this election, of course, is because of Brexit. If Boris Johnson is lucky enough to get a majority, then unless something really weird happens, we will leave the European Union at the end of the next month. That's why all the time you hear him go on and on and on about his main slogan, which is, if you haven't heard it by now... Get Brexit! Get Brexit! Get Brexit done! And that is the biggest difference between the parties, because Labour, on the other hand, would promise another referendum on Europe. So in a funny way, not that much has changed during the campaign. So the Tories have been broadly ahead for most of the time, with Labour struggling to close the gap. The Lib Dems haven't really made the kind of breakthrough that people thought they might do a few months ago. They've actually really struggled. And the SNP looks like that they will be able to stay really dominant in Scotland. But it's been strange in a way, this campaign, after all the massive turmoil of the last few years, things have been really quite stable. With the Tories trying all the time to focus on Brexit, taking us out of the European Union in January, and Labour really trying to hammer home the message that they believe government's decisions of the last decade or so have had a really bad impact on people around the country, and particularly on the health service. NHS! Our NHS! Our National Health Service will be properly funded! It's a big dislike that you find both the main party leaders, and that's been a problem we've heard particularly from Labour candidates who hear again and again people just aren't convinced by Jeremy Corbyn. But Boris Johnson also has got a problem with trust. There's nothing new in suggesting that he's always got a bit of an unusual relationship with the truth. And the question about who you can really believe has definitely been a big part of this campaign. So read the polls all you like. They put the Tories broadly ahead and Labour struggling to close the gap. They're predicting anything these days in politics.